Today I'm going to talk about eight steps of buying a home. My name is Alberto Pacheco with Homes My Realty. The step number one is put together your income taxes, your pay stubs, your bank statements, your ID, and your social security card, and set an appointment with a loan officer so he can go over your income, your debts, and he will issue a pre-approval letter. Step number two, hire a realtor that has experience and is full-time and it's, has patience as well, and let him know your needs and wants on a house. Step number three, start looking and previewing homes. And if you like one or more homes, write an offer, the best offer. Don't wait for counter offers because most properties are you're not getting a counter offer. There is multiple offers of every house. If your offer is accepted, then the step number four is opening escrow and you need to send your good faith money deposit to escrow. And once in there, you'll get a receipt. Step number five is hire a home inspector. The inspector will do the inspection of the house, the roof, the plumbing, the electricity, and then he send the report. You go over the report with your realtor. If there is any repairs that needed to be done, um, you can ask the seller. If the seller doesn't want to do it, ask for a credit. And the credit, you can use it for your closing cost. The next step, is like step number six the bank is going to send the appraiser the appraiser is going to go over the house takes pictures go into his office and runs a report on comparable sales in the last 90 days and issue the report and send it to the lender if the appraisal comes at price is good if it comes above the asking price is great but if it comes below the uh, sales price, your agent will get a copy of the appraiser and renegotiate it with the seller. If the seller accepts it, then escrow will redo an amendment saying that the new sales price will be that amount. If the seller doesn't agree at that price, you have two options. You either bring the difference or you have to cancel the transaction because the lender is not going to lend you money on any property that is not value the amount that the letter of a pre-approval they issue. In case the, the transaction is canceled, then the seller and the buyer has to sign the cancellation and escrow will disperse your deposit. Sometimes escrow is charged for the work done on the file. Step number seven, if you continue with the transaction, then the lender is looking for the full loan approval. And once they get it, they are going to issue the loan documents, which is the step number eight. You sign the loan documents, and once done, you wire the rest of your down payment and closing costs, and the lender will wire the money of the sale to the title company and then the title is taken to the county where it's going to be archived and your name is going to be on title and that's when you become a homeowner. I wish you the best. If you have any questions, my name is Alberto with Home is My Realty. My phone number is area code 818-481-9211. And I hope this is very informative for you. Take care.